In this video, we are going to show you how to improve seed germination by using smoke water. You will see amazing results on certain plants. Hi, I'm Dr. Elsa Toy from Agriculture Academy, where we teach people how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button if you like our videos. If you're interested in starting a nursery, then download our free ebook. The link can be found in the description below. In this video, we will show you how to germinate seeds with the help of smoke water. Stay tuned to the end of the video as we will be sharing our free top tips for maximizing your germination success with smoke water. Let's get started. In South Africa, we are blessed with an abundance of indigenous flora. We often boast about the beauty of our plants but seldomly appreciate just how difficult it can be to get the seed to grow. These plants are so perfectly adapted to the fire-prone regions of the Western and Eastern Cape that their survival depends on frequent fires. Seeds with this adaptation are known as obligate seeders. This means their survival hinges upon their ability to germinate after a fire has passed. Some seed, like eucalyptus, require the actual heat intensity from the fire to burst their capsules so they can grow. Other seed, like we see in the Feinbos vegetation, require the indirect, chemical effect from the burning to grow. So, how do commercial growers solve this problem? Annual field burning would hardly be economical, never mind practical. Thankfully, the answer is quite simple. Smoke seed primers. These primers are specifically formulated with germination-inducing compounds that can be used to artificially treat seed. They benefit not only the obligate seeders like eucalyptus and proteas, but can improve the germination of a range of seeds, including grasses and sedges. Because growing plants from seed will likely be an important determinant in the success of your nursery, being able to maximize germination is a must. Before you begin, make sure you have your seed primer of choice, a jug of water, the seed to be treated, and a container. When it comes to treating your seed, most primers will require you to soak the smoke paper discs in water. These discs are packed full of substances that mimic the physical and chemical effects of an actual fire. Leave the discs to soak in the water until it turns green and the paper becomes white. Pour your seed directly into the smoke water and make sure that they are fully submerged in the solution. Agitate them a bit and make sure no clumps have formed and leave them to soak for 24 hours. After your seed have been treated, remove them from the water. Keep them in their container in a warm, sunny place to air dry. At this point, do not discard the smoke water. Reuse it to make smoke vermiculite and double the use you get out of your primer. We will show you exactly how to do this in our next video. Your dried seed are now ready to be sown into the germination medium. We advise sowing your seeds in the location where they will germinate and grow. With your trays lined up together, gently sprinkle the seeds over the surface. Make sure that you distribute the seed as evenly as possible. If you are unsure about how to sow very fine seed, check out this video for everything you need to know. Once you have planted your seeds, irrigate your trays with a fine drizzle of water. After two to three weeks, you can expect your trays to look something like this. And that's how simple it is to treat your seeds with smoke water. And thank you for sticking around to the end. We have saved our top three tips for guaranteeing success with smoke water just for you. Purchase your smoke primer from reputable sources. Do your research and make sure the retailers you are buying from are supplying you with the highest quality primer. Do not over soak your seed in the smoke water. The recommended soaking time is anywhere between 8 to 24 hours depending on the species of seed. When drying out your seed after it is soaked, keep them in a still, breeze-free area. You do not want all your hard work being undermined by a single gust of wind. We recommend a sunny windowsill indoors with the window closed. Thank you for watching our video. As a special bonus, we have created a free infographic with the top tips. Find the link below. Till next time!